Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. You may just see that I have something here on my desk that I don't usually have as a card maker. I don't normally do videos on knitting machines, but at Christmas I got two knitting machines from my hub hubby and I thought that I would have a play around with them, make some hats, which I did. And then I thought, well, why not put some on my channel? So it's not going to be a regular thing, but on occasion when I make something special, I'm going to do a video and put it up on my channel. So as my name says, card blonde cards and crafts this will be the crafts side so hubby got me two knitting machines for christmas now having looked at some videos and actually what happened was a video came up in my feed of um knitting and i think it was koala knits and knacks um one of her videos come came up and i thought that's so cool so i watched a couple of others um hoop and home and koala knits and knacks they would be the two that i really do follow there are lots of other videos and crafters out there knitting with them i didn't do an unboxing because i didn't think i needed to there's loads of unboxings on the internet but i thought i would share with you the one that i got now i got this one it's a spardar uh, i know that the ones people are buying are addies and um centros and i have the centro uh, 22 needle but hubby got me the um the spardar 48 needle and you might hear it's got little suction cups on the feet so when i pop it on my desk it it does stick not completely but it does stay down so anyway what i wanted to do with you was make this hat this hat that i'm going to pop up on the screen here uh, i made for my granddaughter um i made a couple of beanies standard beanies and i made some pom-poms and ordered some furry pom-poms but made some pom-poms over christmas and one of my daughters came up to visit and she really enjoyed and had a go and she really enjoyed it megan so she made one for herself and one for her partner and i thought i'd like to do one where you don't gather it in the middle it goes straight across the top and add two pom-poms on it because i purchased a hat for my granddaughter for christmas and um, it had two pom-poms and I thought oh wouldn't it be nice if it didn't have the gather in the middle so inspired by Koala Knits and Knacks and how she finishes a scarf and blankets by using um, you put wastage at the start of your beanie and at the end of your beanie or hat um, you'll be able to do this so that's the one I'm sharing it's a straight topped beanie with two pom-poms and I'm going to put um, two furry pom-poms on this one and this one is for myself so I'll have a similar hat to my granddaughter over in the Netherlands so let's skip ahead now I've done enough chatting I will put a little marker down below to state if you want to jump straight in this is the time to go to but um, I'm going to work on my 48 needle and I'm going to show you how I made this hat for my granddaughter so let's flip the camera down and uh, start knitting together so the first thing I'm going to do is put on my wastage and I'm going to use a very contrasting color. The colors for my hat are going to be a green, a kind of sage green, which is this one. And I'm also going to use a white. For my granddaughter, I had a cream color, but I don't have enough of that. So I'm going to pop some on like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave the wool around the front of the needle and the back of the needle so you'll see here it's going around the back and the front the back the front the back the front and so on the whole way around and this is just for um this is just going to be for the waist wool and it will make it easier then when we want to join our hat at the top straight across rather than doing a gather so I'm going to speed through this bit now
now I have all my waste wool on and I'm back up to this white needle so I'm going to pop my wool in here and I'm going to bring it down to my middle um, tension which is down here I'm also going to set my uh, counter and I'm going to do seven of these so I'm going to take my time and I'm just going to tighten that down there I'm going to take my time now for the first two or three rows to make sure that they all go on properly I'm not a professional at this I'm a beginner so my videos aren't for really for tutorial reasons they're just for me to share with you my makes on my channel so that's two rows but there are lots of other knitters out there who've been doing it a long time and they're um they're absolutely brilliant to follow my wool keeps popping out of the tensioner I have it on the floor in um, a waste paper basket but the ball just you know it kind of gets caught a little where the wool doesn't come off so that's what's happening there but that's all right it doesn't matter so I'm going to speed through now and get to seven and then I'm going to show you how to, how I add on then the wool that I want for my beanie So I'm at seven now and I want to cut away my um, extra wool here and I'm leaving myself a nice little tail which you can see here. I'm going to pop that down there and then I'm going to add another colour. So I'm going to bring in my green wool that I have. I'm going to pop that down there. Put it through here and onto my tensioner. I'm going to hold the two here together and I'm going to knit on a couple. You don't need to tie these or anything. Um, I just leave them as they are. I'll add my wool down into my waste paper basket, which is just for my wool. And um, I'm going to go ahead now and all together I'm going to do 140 rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, 90 rows in the green and then I'm going to do 50 rows in the cream. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead now, knit on, I'm going to restart my counter now so I'll get to 90. And then once I've got to 90, I'm going to change my wool over to my white wool. So my wool now is hitting the table and what I want to do is I want to roll it up into like a donut shape and that's just to make it easier with the weight of this then will help the knitting and it will help the machine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll that up a little bit. I'm at 90 now so I'm just going to go around to my pin, my white pin or needle. That's where we started and I have a little mark. On this one here I hope you can see it I used a sharpie I used a pink one and maybe it wasn't the best color I might do it in black but um, we're ready now to change our wool so what we're going to do is we're going to cut off our wool like so we're going to lay it over like that and I'll move that out a little bit more so you can see and then I'm going to bring in my white wool and I haven't pulled these from the center um, because I'm not an experienced knitter, etc. I, I didn't know that the best place to pull was from the center. So I always pull my wool from the outside. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some of my wool in there. I have a nice tail here. I'm going to add to that and then I'm going to pop that through my tensioner. I'm going to hold these two and I'm going to move that around a little. I'm going to make sure the wool has gone over all these sides and then you can either tie these off now or tie them off later. I have been tying mine off now. I don't tie them too tight. I need to make sure that the tension is the same as the knitting, but I just tie it into a nice little knot there. And you can then take your long tails and trim them down if you wish, but they'll be hidden inside the hat. So now I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to knit up to a 130 and then I'll see you back. So I'm coming up to 130 rows now and for me I'm actually going to stop at 130 rows because I have a small head <laughs> and I think if I do 140 rows it'll be kind of hanging off the back and I want the um, hat to be sitting nicely on my head. So for me, I'm gonna stop at 130 rows, but I know if you were making a beanie, a lot of people, um, they generally make 140 rows for an adult, um, an adult beanie, but that would be kind of slouchy on the back. So for me, I know that 130 rows will be good. So I'm gonna stop here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a tail and I'm going to pop that through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some of my purple wool and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to finish up with the wastage. Like what we did at the beginning, I'm going to do the exact same thing now to finish it. So I'll put my little tail in there. I'm going to pop it through bring it down to my tensioner. I'll have the two of them like that and then I can turn a couple of needles. So I'm not going to knot these two together because the purple is my wastage wool and this is going to help me to see um, where I need to pick up my stitches in order to um, put a straight top edge along the top of my beanie. So I'm going to go to um, 137 and that will give me seven rows of wastage. And the reason I'm doing seven rows of wastage is because, um, you know, it'll allow for some of the rows kind of coming undone. Sometimes that can happen. OK, so I'm at 37. I'm going to do another. I'm going to do another one or two because there's it doesn't matter how many of these I do extra they'll um they'll just be used again. So I'm at 100 140. I'm going to go round now to the pink pen. There we go and the white needle comes up. So I'm going to cut this off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to release this from the machine so what you do is you just keep turning and if you do that two times around it'll you can see there it's starting to come off from the machine and that's what we want so now i'll lift that up and off the needle there we go so once I have that done, I can take it out and then I can um, give it a little stretch and everything. So I'm going to remove the machine out of the way and we'll now work on our knitted beanie. So now I want to turn out my beanie. And I'm going to 
pull it out like so i'm being very careful of the wastage that i've done there i don't want that to um unravel too much and drop too many stitches so i'm just going to straighten that out like so and the same at the other end and then i'm gonna pull it across this way this just helps line up the stitches and this way just so our lines are all in a row and then what we want to do is we want to fold this half inside out i don't know if that's the right terminology for it but we want to bring up our two finished our two edges together so now this i can either have it so that it folds that way and i have a green hat or i can have it so that it'll be a white hat if i bring it this way it'll be like a white hat with the green brim and then it's green inside out and the pom-poms i'm going to put on i'm going to put them on with buttons that way i can take the pom-poms off and i can turn out the hat whichever way i want it to be so i'm just going to make sure and line up line the two ends up so i'm going to bring these two together i want to find the center so there's 48 um, needles on my machine. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So that would be the middle there. So now there's that end finished and now I'm going to do the exact same with this end here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So I'm going to start on stitch 25 and I'm actually going to get a different crochet hook because this one has little um bits on it and it keeps catching so i'm going to get one of my own crochet hooks from my bag so we have completed one end and now i'm going to do the exact same on this end and then how i'm going to keep the two joined together is i'm going to um tie two of these off here and i'll tie two of these off here i'll just use um my crochet hook to tie the two corners together i i could actually um use the crochet hook come through this one and bring it through and then come up to this one and bring it through and that will actually then tie in my green one with my the green end with the white end so i have my sorry about that that was the doorbell so i have my um, metal crochet hook and i think i'm going to use that because i'm finding that this one has got little plastic bits on it and they're actually snagging on the wool so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue to finish off the way i did the green end i'm just going to catch every stitch so i have one there i want to catch this one now and pull it through and then i'm going to catch the next one and pull that through and then this one here and pull that through and just do it whatever way is easiest for you so i'll go on to the next stitch and pull that one through and then i can see my next stitch is here and pull that one and my next stitch is here pull that one through 
and I'll keep doing that the whole way along until I get near to the end and then I'll come back to you. So before I get to the end here, I want to show you where your last two stitches are. So where the purple thread is coming through this loop, that's the last stitch. And where this white one is coming through just here, that's the last stitch as well. So I'll keep going now till I get to the end. And I'm going to actually trim off this green piece because I'm going to um, slip stitch in the green end like I did at the start so I'm just going to trim that off and then I can pop that in there and it won't even be seen so keep going now until you get to the end and then that goes through and then we have a lovely finish to the top of our head we our hat we have um, a little tail here but we can weave that in between so now you can see here if i move that wool out of the way you can see here we have a nice um straight finish straight end here and we have a lovely finish to it and then if we turn it out the other way we'll have the same on this side so this will allow me to have my hat either way i can have it like that and it's all green or i can turn it out this way pop out my corners turn up my brim and then i can have it as a white and green hat so it gives me um it gives me options my um pom poms then i can either do it using the wool or i can use you know ready bought ones so i could take out two little white ones and then the great thing about these is they have little um they have the little loops here at the bottom so you can use a crochet hook pull it through catch on the loop pull the loop through in the corner and then you can add a little button now i have some buttons that i got it's um these ones here from amazon and they just have handmade because although they're made on a machine i made them by hand on the machine but um there's no little loops um on this so what you could do is actually um you know you could um put a little piece of wool onto this and then pull it through and tie it on your button you could do that but what i want to do is i'm going to put a little notch either side of my button so that when this comes over my button it will loop through so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put little notches on two of my buttons one for each corner of my pom-poms so to put a little notch in my buttons I just use this it's a little handsaw but what I'm going to get is an electric dremel it's a little electric one that has a bit at the end and it'll just um, cut away that little notch that i need you can probably get notched buttons um or you could get some uh, buttons that have the hole for the loops to go through i've got two white pom-poms here so i'm going to use those 
and then I'll show you how I pull them through. I'm just going to first weave this tail through. So I'm going to put my crochet hook here. I'm going to make sure that it goes between the white and the green. Pop it up there. Catch it around. Pull it back through. Just wiggle it through a little bit until it comes through the other side. And then what I can do is I can cut off the tail and just hide it between the green and the white. And there you go. Can't even see it. So you can have your pom poms on the corner like so. I like mine to sit more. You know, I would like mine to sit more here. So the corner is kind of just hidden rather than right in the corner. So it's up to you wherever you like to do it. So I'm going to put my finger over my crochet hook. I'm going to find the corner and then I'm going to move over to about here. And I'm going to pop that through. I'm then going to find the little loop. And I'm going to give it a shake just to fluff it up see how much fluffier it is compared to this one now so give it a little shake to fluff it up and these are synthetic palms they're not animal fur palms and then i'm gonna pull that through on the inside like so there it is and once i have that through then I can pop my button in there and that'll hold my pom-pom and it really does hold well onto it and that way then either I can take it off or the recipient can swap them around but they'll they'll know that the buttons are there so that they can pop it off even just for washing so I'm going to do the same now on the other side put my finger over it Bring it over to about there. I'm going to shake my pom pom first. And then I'm going to pop it through the loop and then bring it back through. Oh, I just lost it there. There it is. And then I can add my second button in there. My notches aren't perfect on my buttons, but you know what? I'm not selling them. If I was selling them, then I would, um, I would make sure my notches were perfect and everything. The hat that I made for my little granddaughter had, um, handmade pom-poms with the same colors of wood in our wool in it but i don't think i'll have enough i might just have a a go and make um two handmade pom-poms but i would do the same thing as what i've done for these pom-poms on a handmade one so that th that's it now that is our flat top um reversible beanie with double pom-poms and um, I just love this. I'm going to pop it on so you can see how it looks on my head. So here we are with the finished hat and I just love it. I've added some pictures in so they'll be popping up here or at the end of the video probably but you'll see it with using the fur pom-poms and with the handmade pom-poms and I just use, um, I got these on Amazon and it's a pack of four um i'll see if i can find links to these below i also used this it's a round elastic cord um i think it's one millimeter cord and what i do is when i make my pom-pom i tie them off with some a length of wool and then what i do is i take a length of this and cut it off i put a little loop in the middle 
and then what I do is I wrap that around the pom-pom tie it on and then cut it off and then I pull my pom-pom apart and I'm left with a pom-pom that has um, an elastic loop like this one I hope you can see and that way then I can use it with the buttons so I have that on there and I'm delighted with it this wool like I said was it was just cheapy wool that I got from um a pound store or a target or walmart deals um depending on where you are that's the kind of wool because i'm practicing and you know i'm new to this knitting malarkey um i didn't want to go buying expensive wool and using that and finding it doesn't work on the machine and then i'd have to use it by hand my crochet and i don't do a lot of that most of the time i just of an evening if i'm watching a movie with hubby i might sit down and do a bit of crochet but this i love i can churn out this hat from start to finish comfortably in about two two and a half hours that's just taking my time stopping to answer the door for the postman and it's currently snowing outside uh, yeah it's not sticking though in Ireland where I am it doesn't stick very long but um, yeah so that's it I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial making this lovely double pom-pom straight topped hat uh, I leave links to my Facebook group called Your Cards and Crafts if you make this hat whether it's by hand or using a machine um, and you'd like to share pictures fire away and um, I'm also going to leave links down below to Shelley's um, Koala Nicks and Knacks I think that's it for her YouTube channel and her Facebook group because her YouTube video is far more professional than mine but I was having fun and I just wanted to share what I was making with you. So that's down below. I'm also going to leave a link to um, um, Hoop and Home, another great uh, YouTube, Facebook um, area for you to go to. So yeah, have a look in the description down below. Click on the more button and that'll bring you links. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and don't forget to ding the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post another video, whether it's knitting or card making. But I thank you so much for being here. So until next time, folks, take care. Happy knitting and happy crafting. Bye.